Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn daily energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as that may be meant for someone else. All right, so I got the um, John Holland um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck and I'm going to use this for overall to see what you may be struggling with, what you may need to look at and possible future energies coming in for you. And then we'll get some tarot and some clarifiers. All right, so what's going on with Capricorn? All right, I felt like this one. So we'll go with these two for what you're struggling with. And we have number 10, which is flow, which is also the wheel. It represents the wheel. And then we have number seven. Um, this is actually the seven of wands. So I feel like there's some big things that are that are facing you because I feel like with these big faces here and this person is facing it and I feel like there's some big things that are facing you and that things are not flowing for you, that you're kind of feeling like you're at a crossroads, okay? That things aren't flowing, things aren't happening, that it almost like you feel like there's a blockage in front of you, right? Because these huge faces are kind of stopping you and kind of standing in your way. All right, so what does Capricorn need to look at? What does Capricorn need to look at? We have daydreams and de decisions, and that is the Seven of Cups. Okay, so that's, you know, usually there's all of those cups that are lined up here. So it's lots of things going on, looking at, um, I almost feel like daydreaming, right? Kind of just stepping away for a moment and daydreaming about what it is that you would like to accomplish. Where would you like to go? All right, so future energies for Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> These cards are flying all over. All right. We have finding balance, and that is the Two of Pentacles. Um, so balance within different areas of your life that kind of was upside down, but it fell on the floor. So I feel like it's kind of finding that, finding your way, finding your balance. Bottom of the deck, we have the four of cups, opportunity beckons, right? So there's some opportunities that are possibly coming in for you. We have the infinity sign here, which represents individual empowerment and everlasting love. So for overall energy, we have opportunity beckons for you. Maybe right now things are at a standstill because you are supposed to slow down. You're supposed to get into that daydreaming and decision mode. And then you find that balance and these oppor new opportunities are coming in for you. So it's almost like, wait, slow down for a minute, right? Just slow things down because there are some things headed your way, but you have to be in the right frame of mind to receive them. All right, so what do we got here? We're gonna get some tarot. Choosing your battles. Maybe that's because, maybe that's what you're struggling with is choosing your battles, right? Because sometimes there are things that we just have to let go, There, are, right? Flow, there are things that we have to let go of and we have to choose what we feel that is the most important to choose our battles as to what do we work on, what do we fight for, what do we deal with, and what are those things that we let go. We can't, t we can't do everything, so we have to choose what is mo most important to us or that we have to confront or we have to deal with. All right, we have the Knight of Cups. Again, struggling with reaching out, struggling with that communication, not really sure which direction you want to go and I feel like it has to do with a partnership or a friendship. Um, so that four of wands is kind of that grounding feeling, that partnership, it's working together, but you're struggling with that. And there's some things that you're holding on to that you are unable to let go of, that you keep, that maybe, I feel like maybe you have too many things on your plate what you need to look at, we have the five of wands, daydreams and decisions. I feel like this is kind of 
having those ideas but kind of narrowing them down. Sometimes when we have too many ideas and thoughts in our head, we get confused and then we don't end up going in any direction because we're like, I'm so overwhelmed by the whole situation that I don't really know which way I need to go, which way I want to do, what I want to do, that confusion, the moon, the not really sure what's happening. I feel like it's just time for you to slow down today. I feel like it's, or the near future, or whenever you hear this, um, I feel like you're too overwhelmed with everything and you have to take a step back, right? Slow things down, figure things out, find a balance. Maybe you have so much going on. Maybe you need to delegate things. Maybe you need to hand things off to somebody else. Maybe you need to let things go. Um, I love for this future energy here and especially with this cup that's coming in here because it says opportunity beckons and look at this this opportunity comes in for you in the future that's very positive that's very good because we have the knight of pentacles and the sun card so that's definitely positive energy that you kind of lost interest in things sometimes we get so overwhelmed we don't want to do anything we're not sure which direction we want to go in and we just want to give up on everything but I feel like you've kind of lost interest in that, but then this opportunity comes in, but I feel like it's for you to slow down on something. All right, bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. A new, I kind of feel like there's a new job opportunity because Eight of Pentacles represents a new money-making venture, a new opportunity for money, a new way of seeing things or taking a closer look at things because he's really taking a close look at that pentacle here. And I feel like you, your eyes are opened, in a sense, um, to choosing your battles. What things do you want to exert your energy on? What, what are the things that are important to you that you want to focus on, that you want to have as a, at, at the top of the priority list for you? Sometimes we just have so much we don't even know what we're doing. And we just have to take that time out. So for example, for today, I usually go to the barn today, but I had so many things on my mind today. And I had, you know, I had to pay bills and I had to, you know, make phone calls and I had to make lists for things that I needed to do. And I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to stay home this morning. I'm just going to, I didn't even do my videos because it's the afternoon time and I, and I always do my videos first thing in the morning, but it's after one right now and I, um, I'm doing the videos now because I needed that morning to slow down, to figure out what it is that I needed to do and to sort through everything that I had in my head because I kept thinking, oh, okay, well, I got to remember to do this and I got to remember to do that and I have to deal with this and that. And so this morning I was just like, stop, right? Just stop everything and just let me sort through all of this. Let me... Um, get all of these things done and I feel better. So I was able to make lists. I was able to check things off my list and I was able to get things done. And I feel like this is kind of you today too. It's like, okay, taking some time, whether it's just a couple hours or it's the whole day. And it's just like sort through all of these things that you have going on and finding that balance that, okay, I know I still have more to do, but this is my lists that I can follow and I've been able to check these things off the list and it really makes you feel a lot better instead of feeling kind of scattered. Could have to do with a relationship. Maybe you have something going on here or partnerships, things that you have to talk about. Maybe you have all of these things that you want to talk about, but maybe you need to write those down and figure out, okay, what order do I want to talk about? What's most important? What do I have to address first? All right. Again, you're going back and forth thing, with things, but I feel like it's narrowing that down. King of Swords is somebody who is analytical. He is somebody who can sort things through, just like I was saying, is figuring out, okay, what's most important, what's least important. Sometimes just having that organization makes you feel more confident and makes you feel better and makes you feel like you have things under control. All right, could have to do with a relationship. Is there a relationship, a friendship, a partnership, a family member that there are some situations going on there that you need to deal with so that you can see eye to eye so you can kind of have that clarity. When we have loose ends in our life and we feel like, you know, it's just like, oh, I'm not really sure. 
we kind of spend a lot of time focusing on that. And if we can tie up those loose ends, we feel better. We feel like, okay, I can move past that and now I can focus on something else. Um, it could be that there's a lot of arguing or disagreements between you and this person and that needs to stop because it's kind of getting in your way to getting other things done, right? They're, again, choosing your battles. What are you going to walk away from? Or what are you going to work through? Taking the actions. It's not only thinking about what it is that you want to do, but it's actually taking those actions to make things happen. That you're in the driver's seat, that you're in control of where this chariot is going. Right? In order to move forward, that there are some things that need to be dealt with and that you're in control of this, that you make the decisions on, okay, I'm going to take some time to figure things out, narrow things down, make lists, clear the calendar, you know, know what it is I want to talk about. You're in control of that. Sharing, I feel like there's definitely has to do with communication, um, working on things, whether it's with business or with a family member, that there's someone that you need to communicate with. And then we have the Ten of Wands over here, so it's lightening that load, right? Letting things go. Tens are completions. And then look at that. We have the Ten of Cups. Um, you're feeling like you're working together. We have the two people here, and she's doing her needlepoint or whatever that is, and then this person's doing the yarn, and they're working together. The cat's playing. We have the bees, which I feel represents, like, abundance and prosperity and all of the cups and the rainbow. So it's like working towards this Ten of Cups, right? What is your Ten of Cups? What does that represent? Does that represent calmness? And, yeah, sometimes when you reach your Ten of Cups, it's like something else will happen, and then it's like, oh, boy, now here we go again. But sometimes we can have our Ten of Cups for a while and things are calmer and things are better because we're kind of confronting things before they become a bigger problem, right? You're finding that balance. You're making those choices and those decisions as, do I want to leave things the way that they are or do I want to make that improvement? Do I want to choose my battles? Do I want to find that balance? Do I, you know, having things flow, which is the wheel, you know, like changing things and so that things flow easier. It's up to you to make your life flow easier. It's up to you to find that balance, right? For you to make those changes. Sometimes when we think, oh, okay, well, this should work. And then sometimes it works for a while. And then some, sometimes something else happens where you have to deal with things. Um, but I feel like it's up to you because you're in the driver's seat here. You're choosing where this chariot is going and which path it's going to go down. Is it going to go down a nice, smooth calm you know one or is it going to be on a bumpy road with a lot of twists and turns I just feel like you know people have to take responsibility for the choices and the actions that they do as I'm responsible for mine too just like today I was like okay I'm not going to go to the barn I'm, I'm going to deal with all of this stuff that I have to deal with this morning and get it out of the way so I feel like that's kind of you today too all right, so let's close out with a Whispers of Healing. All right, we have Respect. I feel that it has to do with a lot of with respecting yourself to not put yourself in situations where you find that you're stressed, where you find that you're adding up these wands on your back, that you're adding up these swords on your back. I feel like it's out of respect for yourself, that you're looking out for yourself and you're saying, okay, I've got to make these changes. I've got to choose my battles. I've got to do, you know, let go of things. I've got to work relationships out. I've got to know that I'm driving the chariot, you know, that if I need to delegate other people to help me in a situation, that I'll do that so that I can get reach my Ten of Cups, you know. You have to learn to respect yourself and make those choices that are best for you. And I feel like by doing that, again, I definitely feel like there's some opportunity coming in with this card here, that opportunity coming in in this one. I feel like there's opportunities coming in for you because I feel like you're calmer and you're more in control of, of things, right? You're driving that chariot. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.